Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in my video I will be talking about the main healthcare and medtech trends. The reason why I decided to talk about it is that we are living in the era when healthcare technologies are booming. Obviously the progress in healthcare development and medical devices, biotech, medtech started before the pandemic, but the last two years obviously and challenged the limits of the of the industry and also shaped and formed the future of the healthcare and I wanted to share that with you because I know my audience here usually people are searching for career paths and just want to know what can they do in their career what type of jobs they can get and I think knowing the trends I'm going to be talking about you will be able to also realize how huge the job market is and will be and where you can actually start looking and what direction you can take so before i continue please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my videos leave me questions comments and i'll reply to them as soon as i can so the first main trend is the rise of wearable technologies and datafication of healthcare records. So when I'm talking about wearables, obviously there are so many different devices that are available right now, but in healthcare, the wearables on the patient level, it's a huge trend in modern healthcare because we can actually monitor so many different parameters by having a bracelet or a ring or any type of monitor attached to our body. So when I say identification of health records, it means that now we can analyze, we can collect the data from wearables and analyze what's happening with our bodies or patient's body. And we can make certain adjustments to treatments. We can adjust, make certain adjustments into the lifestyle. So definitely wearables and identification is number one trend. Number two, which kind of follows the number one point, is the preventative medicine. I think the more we will be able to analyze what's happening with our bodies in a given period of time and analyze it over an extended period of time, I think a lot of things we can track and monitor and make adjustments to prevent diseases from happening. To give you an example, if you can track your blood pressure and kind of see what's happening if you have jumps and, and if you have inconsistency in your blood pressure, obviously there's something to do with your uh, cardiovascular system, so you need to address that and you can prevent more serious conditions from happening. And similarly, it can be applied to sleeping habits, to your pulse, to your temp body temperature. A lot of companies right now are trying to use the data that they're getting from different devices, wearable devices, or even the phone sometimes, if people are logging in some information to their phone, they're trying to comprehend that information, package it, and actually help healthcare professionals understand to understand what's happening with the patient and what they can do to prevent serious illness from happening. The next trend is digitalization of healthcare records. So maybe it's not really healthcare related when it comes to patient, but it definitely is related to healthcare in general because when you have when you're moving from paperwork to a digital documentation also to telehealth uh, telehealth programs, which means that doctors now can see patients just through the screen by using the telehealth uh, software or program. I think that's the trend where companies will be focusing on their efforts. And again, that's another venue for you to explore. Maybe this is where you want to look at and you can go, you can go and find a job in that area because it's going to be huge and it's not going to go away. Obviously, the pandemic made it evolve and progress quicker because we had to, and it's not going to go away. Obviously, some situations you need to have presence of the patient in front of the doctor, but I would say the pandemic proved that many conditions can be diagnosed without a patient being present in a room, and it, ha it has been quite productive and efficient. So definitely telehealth and digital health, those are the areas that are trending right now. Similarly with digital records, there are a lot of companies working on how to simplify and make life of healthcare professionals easier by putting the data of patients into some sort of a categorized 
documents that can be stored securely so nobody can breach or get access to personal information of patients. So anything related to that will be booming and it is booming right now. So definitely it's an important trend to be mindful of. The next trend is the body hacking and genome hacking. We're getting better and better in sequencing the genome, understanding what different genes are doing, how they're being expressed, and more companies and more technologies are being available now and becoming more available in order to make this processes quicker and more efficient and more affordable. So which leads me to the next trend, and that is the personalized medicine and precision medicine. What does that mean? When we know what do the genes do and why they're being expressed in one person versus another person and what they can cause, what kind of health consequences we have due to the expression of genes, we can tailor down the, the plan for treatment of diseases. And what that will allow us to do is to be more precise in, in giving suggestions to people, knowing that specific drugs will be working with this type of a genetic code of a person versus another person. Because we know that drugs do, as much as we want to believe that one drug can cure a specific disease in everyone, it's not true. And we know more and more information about it now. So we want to be more precise and we want to know if the specific uh, molecule will, be, will have an effect on the specific body cells in this specific person. So that's a big deal. And Many companies are dedicating divisions in those companies just to work on precision medicine or and they call it personalized medicine. So definitely something that is gonna is gonna be with us for a long, long run, and we will be working towards being more and more specific, patient specific in the way how we treat them. Well, in the last trend I want to mention is of course robotics and nanobots. So, which is also a division of robotics. <laughs> Obviously, the robotics, when I talk about it, it can be applied to so many different things. I like to talk about surgical robotics because it's something that's booming right now. Many companies are developing extremely sophisticated robots that can perform very complex procedures on patients, surgical procedures on patients. And yes, right now they have to be manipulated by surgeons, but who knows, maybe in the future they will be able to do it themselves. We'll see, we will see, I think in our lifetime, if that's possible or not. But we also can talk about nanobots. That's another way, another branch of robotics where tiny robots can be introduced in, into the body and they can perform procedures or deliver specific drugs to the point of delivery, somewhere where the drug belongs to and needs to go. I think it's also a very progressive way of looking at the med looking at medicine in general, healthcare in general, and many companies are investing into research and development of those types of technologies. And I would say really, one last thing to add is that the trend of making tools for any type of intervention in people, smaller, is a big trend. It's been going on for, I would say, maybe two decades now. But especially the last decade, we're showing that more and more tools can, be, can become smaller and more sophisticated. So when we are trying to, uh, we're trying to perform any type of surgical procedure or any type of procedure where we need to enter patient's body, it can be done through smaller incisions, smaller space so everything becomes smaller more precise and i think it all goes into the idea of having all the surgeries done through a keyhole so i think that's another trend to be mindful so this information was for you guys to consider this beautiful world of healthcare tech as a career opportunity because i think it's fascinating it's fast developing it's something that i am truly passionate about and i suggest you to look into companies that follow those trends work towards those type of um, technological advancements and you can be part of those teams think about it look look it up and leave me your comments below this video if you have any if not, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.